Morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. Today is Monday in the fourth week of Ordinary Time. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and my, and my mouth shall declare your praise. praise. Come, let us sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, let us sing joyful songs to the Lord. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before Him, singing for joy. Come, Come let us sing joyful songs to the Lord. Know that He, the Lord, is God. He made us. We belong to Him. We are His people, the sheep of His flock. Come, Come let us sing joyful Lord, songs to the Lord. Go within His gates, giving thanks. Enter His courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to Him and bless His name. Come, Come let, let us sing Lord, joyful songs to the Lord. Indeed, how good is the Lord! Eternal His merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. Come, Come, let, let us, us sing, sing joyful songs, songs to the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, Come let, let us, us sing, sing joyful, joyful songs, songs to the Lord. This morning, Lord, you fill us with your kindness. O Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to the next. Before the mountains were born, all the earth, all the world brought forth. You are God with a beginning or end. You turn men back to dust and say, Go back, sons of men, to your eyes a thousand years are like yesterday, calm and gone, no more than a watch in the night. You sweep men away like a dream, like grass which springs up in the morning. In the morning it springs up and flowers, by evening it withers and fades. So we are destroyed in your anger, 
struck with terror in your fury, our guilt lies open before you, our secrets in the light of your face. All our days pass away in your anger, our life is awful like a sigh. Our span is seventy years, or eighty, for those who are strong. And most of these are emptiness and pain. They pass swiftly and we are gone. Who understands the power of your anger and fears the strength of your fury? Make us know the shortness of our life, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Lord, we lend. Is your anger forever? Show pity to your servants. In the morning, fill us with your love. We shall exult and rejoice all our days. Give us joy to balance our affliction for the years when we knew misfortune. Show forth your works to your servants. Let your glory shine on their children. Let the favor of the Lord be upon us. Give success to the works of our hands. Give success to the work of our hands. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. From the farthest bounds of earth, may God be praised. Sing to the Lord a new song, His praise from the end of the earth. Let the sea and what fills its resound, the coastlands and those who dwell in them. Let the step and its cities cry out, the villages where Kedar dwells. Let the inhabitants of Sela exult and shout from the top of the mountains. Let them give glory to the Lord and utter His praise in the coastlands. The Lord goes forth like a hero. Like a warrior, He stirs up His ardor. He shouts out His battle cry. Against His enemies, He shows His might. I have looked away and kept silence. I have said nothing, holding myself in. But now I cry out as a woman in labor, gasping and panting. I will lay, I will lay waste mountain and hills, and all the herbets I will dry up. I will turn the rivers into marshes, and the marshes I will dry up. I will lead the blind on their journey. By paths unknown, I will guide them. I will turn darkness into light before them and make crooked ways straight. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. You who stand in this sanctuary, praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise Him, servants of the Lord, who stand in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God. Praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. Sing a psalm to His name, for He is loving. For the Lord has chosen Jacob for Himself, and Israel for His own possession. For I know the Lord is great, that the Lord is high above all gods. The Lord does whatever He wills, in heaven, on earth, in the seas. He summons clouds from the ends of the earth, makes lightning produce the rain. From his treasuries he sends forth the wind. The firstborn of the Egyptian is smooth, of men and beasts alike. Signs and wonders he work in the midst of your land, O Egypt, against Pharaoh and all his servants. Nations in their greatness he struck, and kings in their splendor he slew. Sihon, king of the Amorites, Og, the king of Bashan, and all the kingdoms of Canaan, he let Israel inherit their land. On his people, their land he bestowed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as, as it was, was in the beginning, beginning is now, now will and be will be forever. forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Grant us, Lord our God, that we may honor you with all our mind and love everyone in truth of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, what more shall I say? 
I have not time to tell of Gideon, Barak, Samson, Jephthah, of David and Samuel and the prophets, who by faith conquered kingdoms, did what was righteous, obtained the promises. They closed the mouths of lions, put out raging fires, escaped the devouring sword. Out of weakness, they were made powerful, became strong in battle, and turned back foreign invaders. Women received back their dead through resurrection. Some were tortured and would not accept deliverance in order to obtain a better resurrection. Others endured mockery, scourging, even chains and imprisonment. They were stoned, sawed in two, put to death at sword's point. They went about in skins of sheep or goats, needy, afflicted, tormented. The world was not worthy of them. They wandered about in deserts and on mountains, in caves and in crevices in the earth. Yet all these, though approved because of their faith, did not receive what had been promised. God had foreseen something better for us, so that without us, they should not be made perfect. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let your hearts take comfort, all who hope in the Lord. Let your hearts take comfort, all who hope in the Lord. How great is the goodness, O Lord, which you have in store for those who fear you, and which toward those who take refuge in you, you show in the sight of the children of men. Let your hearts take comfort, all who hope in the Lord. You hide them in the shelter of your presence from the plottings of men. You screen them without your abode, within your abode, from the strife of tongues. Let your hearts take comfort, all who hope in the Lord. Blessed be the Lord, whose wondrous mercy He has shown me in a fortified city. Let your hearts take comfort, all who hope in the Lord. Once I said in my anguish, I am cut off from your sight. Yet you heard the sound of my pleading when I cried out to you. Let your hearts take comfort, all who hope in the Lord. Love the Lord, all you his faithful ones. The Lord gives those who are constant, but more than requites those who act proudly. Let your hearts take comfort, all who hope in the Lord. Please stand. Alleluia. be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to mark glory to you o lord jesus and his disciples came to the other side of the sea to the territory of gerasenes when he got out of the boat at once a man from the tombs who had an unclean spirit met him. The man had been dwelling among the tombs, and no one could restrain him any longer, even with a chain. In fact, he had frequently been bound with shackles and chains, but the chains had been pulled apart by him, and the shackles smashed, and no one was strong enough to subdue him. Night and day among the tombs and on the hillsides, he was always crying out and brushing himself with stones. Catching sight of Jesus from a distance, he ran up and prostrated himself before him, crying out in a loud voice, What have you to do with me, 
Jesus, Son of the Most High God, I adjure you by God, do not torment me. He had been saying to him, Unclean spirit, come out of the man. He asked him, What is your name? He replied, Legion is my name. There are many of us. And he pleaded earnestly with him not to drive them away from that territory. Now a large herd of swine was feeding there on the hillside, and they pleaded him, Send us into the swine, let us enter them. And he led them, and the unclean spirits came out and entered the swine. The herd of about 2,000 rushed down a step bank into the sea, there where they were drawn. The swine herds ran away and reported the incident in the town and throughout the countryside. And people came out to see what had happened. As they approached Jesus, they caught sight of the man who had been possessed by legion, sitting there clothed and in his right mind, and they were seized with fear. Those who witnessed the incident explained to them what had happened to the possessed man and to the swine. Then they began to beg him to leave their district. As he was getting into the boat, the man who had been possessed pleaded to remain with him. But Jesus would not permit him, but told him instead, Go home to your family and announce to them all that the Lord in his pity has done for you. Then the man went off and began to proclaim in the Decapolis what Jesus had done for him, and all were missed. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Nakakita na ba kayo ng sinasapian? O gusto ko sanang tanungin, nasapian na ba kayo? Um, and sometimes we would joke up our friends who are acting differently, sabihin natin sa kanya, mukhang nasasapian ka. No? Um, the gospel that we read today, talks about or gives us an idea kung ano yung nangyayari kapag uh, merong exorcism. No, I'm, I'm sure you have heard of this. So if not, uh, you have heard about exorcism, siguro napanood nyo sa movie about uh, what happens during exorcism. In the, in the gospel that we read, mahaba-haba, it tells about the story of a man who has been tormented by demons for a long, long time. And that when he saw the Lord, he saw the opportunity to be freed from what tormented him sa napakatagal na panahon. And he asked the Lord to be freed from that. To cut the long story short, he asked for help. And when the Lord exorcised him, liberated him, freed him, there were lots of demons. In fact, the name Legion who rushed out of the man and went to uh, the pigs and they were drowned. Um, exorcism is something that, that is very dramatic in the gospel that we read today. In fact, ganun din kapag ka merong exorcism na nangyayari, very dramatic and because it tells about the, the war between good and evil, the war between uh, God and then the devil. And uh, it freed the man from what has been tormenting him for a long, long time. Wala naman po sigurong nasasapian sa atin dito, ano? Kasi kung hindi, meron nang nagsisisigaw dyan. No? But we know very much 
that there are many things that would torment us, that would keep us from becoming who we are and what we are in the face of God, no? to become the child of God that we are supposed to be. There are many things that would torment us, keep us from, keep us apart. In a way, in the gospel that we read today, yung sinasapian was not living among the living. He was living among the dead, in the tombs, set apart, unclean, no? not among the living. And one of the things that happened to him after he was liberated, freed from the devils that tormented him, is that he was able to come back and to live among the living again. In a way, we are also like that. We are burdened by so many things. There are so many things that keep us apart from God. There are so many things that would keep us apart from following the Lord. In what is that? It can be our own selfishness. It can be our, our, our hold to power. It can be arrogance. It can be anything that actually keeps us from following the Lord. It, it is something that would keep us apart. No, it keeps us living in, in the tombs. Separate. Abnormal. In a way. No? Kaya nga, kahit na, kahit na hindi ganun kadramatic yung pangangailangan natin ng exorcism, whether we like it or not, may mga bagay na kailangang e-exorcise sa sarili natin. Yung mga sinabi ko po kanina. It can be selfishness, can be arrogance, it can be an inordinate hold to power, to pleasure, anything that doesn't put God in front of, of many things, of anything that we would desire. So these are the things that in a way would be exercised or should be exercised out of us. We have all our we have our own demons to deal with. It can be anger. It can be it can be something that uh, burdens us. So kaya kahit na hindi ganun ka dramatic yung exorcism na mangyayari sa buhay natin, but Lahat naman tayo nangangailangan ng exorcism one way or another. It might not be as dramatic as was described in the gospel that we read today. Ang isa pang maganda doon sa binasa nating ebanghelyo is that one mark of being exorcised is that the, the man from whom legion was taken out started to follow the Lord. Perhaps this is one of the most concrete way that we are freed from what burdens us because it allows us to follow the Lord more closely and more intently and more genuinely and more authentically. Totoo. Kaya nga, after being freed no, from, from, from the devil, uh, the man said, I would like to follow you. At anong sabi ng Panginoon sa kanya? No, no. You go back and tell everyone about the good news that you receive. My dear friends, when we receive also that kind of, that kind of good that the Lord uh, would do to us, ganun din naman yung hinihingi sa atin ng Panginoon. Don't, don't just keep it to yourself. Don't just keep it among yourselves. Go back and preach the good news that you experience. My dear friends, in the gospel, we are told about exorcism. Ang magandang tanong, ano kaya ang sumasapi sa atin sa mga panahon na ito? What burdens us? What keeps us apart? What, what doesn't allow us to follow the Lord in a more concrete way, in a more authentic way? Kasi kapag ka maroon, kailangan natin ng exorcism. Kapag ka ganoon, sinasapian tayo one way or another. And when we experience the Lord working in our lives, it is the same instruction. Go back and tell the people about the good news that you have received. Can you all stand? Gathered together in Christ, who conquers all evil, let us come confidently to the Father with our prayerful intention 
and let your response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Holy Father, the bishops, priests, and deacons will help us to remain strong in our faith in Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christian believers may have the courage to speak boldly in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are hardened in sin may be touched by the Spirit of the Lord to repent and change their ways. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may render support especially to those who are embittered by suffering and pain. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our hope, the college of bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the master of the order and his assistants, and to our brothers and ministry at Santo Domingo and Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, and for our personal intentions, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer that our beloved dead may be brought safely home to the company of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. O God, our refuge and our strength, hear the prayers of your church. For you yourself are the source of all devotion. And grant, we pray, that what we ask in faith we may truly obtain through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of our creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it will become for us a bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of our creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the divine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O Lord, we bring to your altar these offerings of our service. Be pleased to receive them, we pray, and transform them into the sacrament of our redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is only right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in goodness you created man and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virgins of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Santo, Santo, Panginoong Diyos, Nakupuno ang langit at lupa ng karagiran mo. O sana, o sana, o sana, 
May call it therefore this gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take these, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Sakuso at pagkabuhay, kami na tos ng tunay. Oh Jesus, namin ba ilikas mo kami? Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Archbishop, Fidelis, our Auxiliary Bishop, Gerard, the Master of the Order of Preachers, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, for the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, Lord, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Now blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter, enter under, under my roof. roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Paalala po sa lahat sa inyong pagtanggap ng communion. Bago humarap sa magbibigay ng communion, pakibaba na po ang face mask. Kapag sinabi sa inyo, Body of Christ, tanggapin ng inyong dalawang kamay ang hostya at sumagot ng Amen. At isubo na agad ang hostya. Huwag po ninyong isubo habang naglalakad at dalong huwag dalhin sa upuan ng hostya upang maiwasan ang pagkahulog nito. Salamat po.
Please stand. Blessed be the Lord, for He has come to His people and set them free. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He, he has, has come, come to His people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of the servant David. David. Through His holy prophets He promised of old that He would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember His holy covenant. This was the oath He swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship Him without fear, holy and righteous in His sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you, for you will go before the Lord to prepare His way, to give His people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shun on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be, be forever. forever. Amen. Blessed, Blessed be the Lord, for He has come to His people and set, set them free. Let us now say, pray the litany of gratitude after the COVID pandemic. Let us approach the Lord who makes all things new for all the blessings and graces we received during the COVID pandemic. Let us say together, thanks be to God. Thanks be to God for reminding us of the fragility of life and opening our minds to what is really essential. Let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God for allowing us to connect with one another despite the isolation that sickness had imposed on us. Let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the heroic kindness of those who provided us with scientific, social, and spiritual help, and for the gift of newly discovered vaccines. Let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the gift of assuring presence when we were anxious and depressed during the pandemic. Let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. Loving God, you entered our world of sickness, suffering, and death, and you know the fears we face. Accept our thanksgiving for your provident love during the COVID pandemic. As you wept at the death of Lazarus, breathe the breath of life everlasting on all those who died from the coronavirus. You have turned our fears into joy, and for this we thank and praise you. Mary, help of Christians, pray for us. Saint Michael, the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. Let us pray. Nourished by these redeeming gifts, we pray, O Lord, that through this help to eternal salvation, through faith may ever increase, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Before we give the final blessing, maraming salamat po sa pagdalaw ninyo sa Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag at sa pakikiisa ninyo sa Banal na Misa. Maraming maraming salamat din po sa patuloy na suporta ninyo sa mga proyekto namin dito sa Minor Basilica. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And the Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go and learn us the Gospel of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Let us now say the prayer for the blessing po ng mga may sakit. Nandito, nasa bahay, nasa ospital. Your friends, we include them in our prayers. And this is to be followed by the prayer for the blessing po ng inyong religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness so that our sick brothers and sisters freedom from all illness and restore them to good health to the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. For your religious articles, let's bless them. In memory of the miseries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ 
and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may your religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.